At John Monash Science School, science is not just another subject, but the very core of what they do every day. Once a year, though, they pull out all stops and create an amazing community, world-class student event called the John Monash Science School Fair. This exciting day begins with students setting up their exhibits in readiness for sharing with their teachers, peers, families, friends and Monash University academics. These amazing projects reflect the investigations and research done throughout the year by course science students. Hello, my name is Peter Corkill. I'm the principal at John Monash Science School and welcome to our annual science fair. The science fair is actually a celebration of science. It's, uh, it's the end of uh, a series of investigations that our students undertake in many of their uh, learning subjects uh, across the year, um, both in core science and in the emerging science electives. Students are given the opportunity to undertake an open-ended investigation uh, following a theme of their choice, uh, do the research and then put the findings together in the form of a project presentation, model, uh, and then uh, have an opportunity to interact with uh, members of the public uh, and also uh, people from science, uh, either from business industry or from Monash University. So uh, it's, it really is the culmination of, of uh, an exciting year's work in science on the part of many of our students. We do it because we think it's important that our students not only learn to uh, produce uh, a good outcome for their project, uh, that is via poster or presentation. But in order to uh, get the full benefit out of it, they need to learn to present it to a less sophisticated audience and sometimes to an audience of, uh, of academics that uh, really know a lot about what they've done and, and can challenge some of their thinking. And it's those conversations that we find are really important for the, for the young people because they get a chance to articulate what they've learnt. Uh, it gives a chance for other schools and their parents and families to come in and see what they've done and, and to be supportive of their learning journeys. It gives teachers an opportunity to see what they can do. And uh, above all, it gives them an opportunity to defend their position, their theories, their hypotheses, their findings to people who have got plenty of questions for them. And, uh, and I think that's a fundamental role of science these days is to articulate a strong message and, uh, and actually have the courage of your convictions and be able to defend your position with the evidence that you provide. And, and that's an experience we're very desperate to give our young people. Uh, the entire John Monash Science School community is involved in the science fair, apart from perhaps some of the year 12s that are on study leave and, and didn't contribute to it. Uh, the students, virtually all of our students do complete a project for the fair. It's part of their learning and part of the expectation of being here. But we also uh, invite uh, a number of primary school students to participate. We run a, a fairly exciting little scientist, big science program here where our year 10 and 11 and some of our year 12 students actually teach a unit in science to, uh, to grade fours and fives and they produce a project and bring it to the fair. And we also have uh, a number of students from regional schools who uh, have been homestaying with us for a period of time and they go back home and finish a project and bring it as well. So it's a, an opportunity for us to broaden that sense of community to schools outside our own and give many more people an opportunity to uh, participate in an experience we think is, uh, is fairly unique for, for young kids in science. So now let's go inside the science fair and see what's happening. In core science this year, all of our students uh, in year 10 have selected their own topic and have been researching and finding and designing an experiment that would test uh, their particular question of a topic of their choice. Uh, the students have been working on it all year long and have uh, come up with some amazing work and uh, we're very excited to see the uh, presentations this year. Year 10 enrichment science students share their findings from subjects they have studied. Things like quarks to quasars, bioinformatics, pharmaceutical science and cells to systems. Half of our science fair exhibits tonight are from what we call our enrichment science program, which we run alongside our core science program. 
the kids elect two of these subjects per year and it's emerging sciences like bioinformatics, nanotechnology, pharmaceutical science, quarks to quasars, cells to systems. Um, and the exhibits you'll see tonight is a showcase of our subjects where the kids are presenting different concepts we've done and running different practical experiments with people as they move through. Primary school students and rural students who've been part of the John Monash Science programs throughout the year also return to participate along with their parents, families and friends. The Rural Exchange Program is designed to give kids from the country um, a bit of an experience with a specialist science school like ours. We have, as, as you will have heard, the incredible access that we have and the assistance we have from the academics at Monash University have meant that we've got enrichment sciences that offer kids from smaller schools an opportunity to really be engaged in some areas of science that they, that they may be passionate about. So when the rural kids came through this year, some of them chose to do um, marine biology and some chose to do quarks to quasars, some did um, dynamic earth. So specialist subjects that they wouldn't get the opportunity to participate back usually in their, in their home schools. Uh, my name is Sarah Bartholomew and I'm from Canaver College. I base my research poster around stem cells and what are stem cells. Well, I'm Greta Zeglin. I'm from Rochester Secondary College and my post is all about cancer. So they got to be in an environment with a lot of like-minded students. The other kids who are here are passionate about science. They're at a school where it's cool to be smart and, uh, and for some of the kids that has been one of the things that they have really enjoyed about being here is being with like-minded students and the enrichment science opportunities that they get. Here are our primary school students uh, in the program Little Scientists Big Science. Uh, they're involved in uh, coming to John Monash Science School in semester one and semester two and they do an incredible program here uh, with our year 10 students who run that program. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity for the primary school students to get hands-on experience of uh, a whole range of sciences and it's a really good opportunity for our year 10 students uh, to learn how to teach and how to present and share their ideas and understanding of science. All projects are rigorously critiqued not only by student peers and teachers but also by Monash University science academics. This competition and assessment forms a big part of this remarkable celebration of student work. So the Science Fair at John Monash a Science School is really a culmination of the entire year's work for the Year 10s, provides fantastic opportunities for them to explore uh, their interest in science, to look beyond the normal curricula uh, in their science units or subjects down here, and to investigate. So the inquiry stuff is, is really a fantastic uh, bonus, if you like, to the normal curriculum. And at Year 10, provides that opportunity for students. So in terms of these exhibits, uh, the judges that come onto the school grounds and look at these exhibits have conversations with students about what they've done, the extent to which they've engaged with the material they're looking at, and have that conversation. So asking probing questions, having students articulate their responses really demonstrates what the students know, how well they've got their heads around uh, the program or project material, and the scientists therefore can provide extra perspective if you like. I mean, we always come away from these things going, wow, this is fantastic. Uh, what a fantastic job and we'd really love to see these kids come onto Monash. Uh, 
whether they do, we don't know, but uh, we're hoping, fingers crossed, that they all do because they're a great bunch of kids. Ah, uh, okay, so it's actually 0.545 of a volt. Yeah. Okay. And so, which metal are you looking at here? This is gold, is it? Oh, uh, yeah. Creating low pressure on top, so it creates lift. Now, my EI demonstrates this problem here a vortex. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. And so it shows everything in my That was the control one. This is a control one? Yeah. I used the Nestle Crunch. And right. if you know Nestle Crunch, there's little rice bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have swayed their. You put the ice and then a thin layer of water between the ice and the blade. So I'm testing if the ice has more friction if you get rid of a layer of water. Experiment. My experiment has to do with the impember effect, which is the freezing of hot water faster than cold water. They do more lush. And. Did they all get the same amount of sunlight? Um, yeah. Were they all kept under the same conditions? Due to the difference in atmospheric pressures and, and like different rates you can travel. We've been invited over to uh, judge some of these amazing student projects as a part of the science fair. It's really quite amazing what some of these young people can come up with. Some of the projects I've seen are already substantially better than what some of our university students come up with. What we're looking for is originality uh, and innovation. And what I love asking the students is not so much about the chemistry, although that's always really fascinating, but where do they get the ideas from? And invariably, all of these guys have come up with the ideas themselves, which is probably the most interesting thing of all, to see where they get their eyes, ideas seeded from and so on. So looking forward to having a bit of a look around and looking for some really original projects. Thanks for being a part of the 2012 John Monash Science School Fair. We're very proud of all the students who have presented some marvellous projects and we're looking forward to them continuing an interest in science into the future. We're pleased at the John Monash Science School to also announce that we will be hosting the 2015 International Science Schools Fair. We will have more than 40 countries from around the world involved in this fair from Asia, Europe, North America to celebrate science. Students from these schools and these countries will be doing projects from a range of different sciences and we look forward to celebrating as an international community uh, some of the amazing scientific projects that are going on in schools around the world.